In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Sage X3 and Intersight Transactions, a simple setup and demonstration process. Intersight Transactions, we're going to take a look at what are they used for, what are the prerequisites, and how to create an Intersight Transaction. Intersight Transactions is where two sites under one company are purchasing and selling products to the other. For this demonstration, we're going to be taking a look at Site A purchasing aspirin from Site B. A simple flow for Intersight Transactions includes Site A creates the purchase order, Site B creates the sales order automatically, Site B then ships the order to Site A, Site A then receives the order via a picking on the shipment. Site A then has the purchase order, which is closed out by the receipt. And Site B, the sales order, is closed by the shipment. There's a little bit of setup that has to happen before we can do an intersite transaction. First, you would go under Setup, Organizational Structure, Sites, go to your Details tab, and check mark the Purchase and check mark the Sales box. That way the site can do a purchase and the same site can do sales. And then under Common Data BPs, go to the BP and create a BP as a customer and as a supplier. You want to make sure that the Intersite checkbox is checked and a site has been chosen. Also under Common Data for BPs, for the customer, you want to go to the Ship To tab and choose the receiving site. Let's go ahead and do now a demonstration. let's go ahead and create our Intersite transaction. First, we'll go to Purchasing and to Orders and Orders, or you can use the function GESPOH. Use the All Full Entry Transaction selection Go ahead and select New, put in our order site, put in our supplier who is also a customer, and X3 will go ahead and check mark Enter Site because of the setup that has been done previously. Go ahead and click on our lines, add our product, For this demonstration, I'm just using one as my quantity, and I'll use 50 for my gross price. Go ahead and click Create. When we create the purchase order, X3 will automatically create the sales order, and that's because of the setup that we did previously for Intersight Transactions. We can also see the sales order number within the purchase order lines. So if we go out of this screen and we go into the lines, we can scroll over to the right. There's a column, the Acknowledgement ID column, that will also give us this number. So right here has the sales order number. Let's go ahead and exit out of the screen, go into the sales order, and let's take a look at it and start creating our pick ticket. So if we go to sales, orders, orders again, or you can use the function G-E-S-S-O-H, go to our all full entry transaction selection, select new, Pull up our sales order. Create our pick ticket. And this pick ticket can be printed and give it to folks on the manufacturing floor to make the product available to be deliverable and to create that delivery. So we'll select delivery Go into the All Full Entry Transaction. OK, 
come down to our lines. Just going to tab. Feel free to put information in these columns if that's useful for your business. Put enter site as our description and put my serial number. I'm going to create. And now I want to go ahead and save my delivery. And it gives us our delivery number. I want to validate my delivery to complete the process. Now I want to go and receive my product into stock. So if I close out of the pick ticket, close out of the sales order, I can go to purchasing, receipts, receipts, all full entry, transaction selection, click on new, put in my receiving site, my supplier, go ahead and select the delivery selection drawer. I can choose my delivery, create my receipt. Here's my receipt number. Go ahead and exit out of the screen. And that's how you create an inner site transaction.